But let's now segue over to the home run derby, which at least Ooh. I know I have lots of thoughts about. I don't, I don't know, I don't know how uh, fired up you are. I mean, that. I'm gonna say what I said to you that night. Um, there is no way that Kyle Schwarber was not asked <laughs> to throw the first round, so yeah, the uh, fix was in. Could, could advance. Yeah. To your point, Albert was getting pitches, kind of maybe like the Pete Alonzo the year the, the was it last year that he kind of got they kind of said that his dad was throwing him the pitches prior to the ball. I think they got out. rid of that rule completely. Uh, the th- that was a few years ago where yeah you had to wait till the ball was yeah. like in the stands I mean, I, or on the ground before you could throw that. I don't think they have that rule anymore okay. because it, yeah because it's timed. Yeah, it's stu- um, it's stupid to have that rule, but what like- they did officially fudge though was they let Albert hit balls over the over the fence even after the clock hit zero. The well, ball was still in the pitcher's hand, and that, yes. that's been documented at least yes. once. At the same time, Kyle Schwarber his had pitcher a ball- was yeah. Well, that's another part, but had a ball that wasn't even counted. He had a home run that they didn't bother counting. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's, like, it's easier. We- it's easier to advance grandpa uh, to the next round if wow. that happens. Yeah. You, I think you were about to say that like Schwarber's pitcher was just for like a while, 10 just, seconds. He was, he was just like stand 10 seconds. There. With, yeah. yeah with the ball. Like you are supposed to throw the ball. You have one job, throw him the ball. And you were just yeah. fucking standing there. So I don't know. It, that looked fishy. That, of course that was the, that was, that was the second matchup, I believe to start the. Yeah first round but um you know Kyle Schwerber is the number one seed versus the number eight seed uh but of course a fan favorite former Dodger of course longtime St. Louis Cardinal Albert Pujols but you know this is his I thought it was odd that he was even chosen to be in the home run derby. when I saw he was in the home run derby I'm like why well he had like one home run for about the first two minutes yeah (laughs) so i was like oh my god schwerber only needs two home runs to win this round i text you i'm like did they change it to the gap derby hitting into the gap derby because that's all he was doing he just kept hitting the ball in the gap which would have been great in a regular game for scoring runs and getting doubles but then all of a sudden he changed his bat. I don't know if he went to the cork bat he or went, what. He went, yeah, he went to the <laughs> one ounce lighter bat that apparently made all the difference. But. And then all of a sudden he had 12 home runs or whatever, or whatever Kyle had to tie him for. I, I can't remember. And then yeah. the bonus round, he just went nuts. Yeah. Yeah. It. I don't know. It, uh, I was very, very shady to me. Well, I was upset about it just because I was rooting for Kyle Schwarber. He's really the only one I had any kind of rooting interest with, and I certainly don't root for Albert Pujols. But, you know, so for him to go out in the first round just and things that were bothering me before I even saw other people writing and writing headlines such as robbery in the ravine. (laughs) Jeez, wow. (laughs) Well, there's a lot of vitriol all over it because this is a uh, an event that you can actually gamble on. And in fact, Kyle Schwarber oh, had the most money true. on you him to, to win that first round of maybe any he, other any other kind of bet you could have on the home run derby. Maybe he bet Juan Soto. Well, <laughs> I mean, if you're not gonna even follow the rules, like their own rules, uh, like I mentioned before, where they're counting, you know, not counting balls, just you know, we're just not gonna count that one that Kyle Schwarber had. We lost track. Sorry about that. Or they're gonna let Albert Pujols pitcher throw him after the clock hits zero. And count that. I mean, this is like really shady territory. Would you, would you think about the Vegas aspect of this? So I don't gamble, so that part doesn't bother me that much. But they're going to have to, you know, if there's lots of money changing hands, they're going to have to tighten this up, especially since baseball does have connections with the gambling industry, direct business. Right. Connections. Yes. So, yeah. MLB has sponsorships on gambling sites. Yeah, this like is all, the logo is able to be used and, and things like that. So these, these are all fun and games exhibitions that we shouldn't take too seriously. But when there's that now suddenly that much money and business aspect going on the line with this, I, this might be the last of these shady home run derbies. So Rob Manfred's legs were broken last night. <laughs> Word 
Hole Media.